we can assume this is going to happen soon. Uh, we are set for it. We are live right here on Spectrum News as we continue our coverage. I want to welcome in our viewers who may be tuning in right here at the top of the hour. You're watching our extended coverage uh, live right here on Spectrum News. A body has been found. The body of Officer Craig Laner been missing for five days now. He went missing in the Niagara River during a training exercise on Friday afternoon after days of searching, exhaustive efforts. You can see him right there. His body has been recovered. The canine officer, nine year veteran of the force, the exhaustive search, the hours, the days has finally come to an end. Alex, um, as you talk to us, let's get a look at the scene there, get an idea of what's happening. This is where the procession will be going by shortly. Yeah, John, once again, I'm on the Porter Avenue bridge uh, right near the uh, the Peace Bridge exit on the 190 as I'm looking off to the side. Uh, there's one lane that's closed down by police, one lane they're still letting people go by. More than 15 agencies coming out to help. And it's kind of tough because when you're a diver on a recovery mission, it's a dangerous recovery mission right. and you're putting your life in danger and as that's well. that's what took so long. And it's hard for people to understand, why can't they just find him? Like, yeah. like what's taking so long? It's, it's things that you hear all the time. Uh, what another question is going to be what happened? There's been so much uh, effort now and there. We see the uh, procession is obviously starting. There's been so much talk about the recovery. Uh, there's been no talk about what happened to begin with. And we want to just take a moment now just to watch this go by the procession escorting the body of Buffalo Police Officer Craig Laner. All right, there it is. The procession, Officer Craig Laner's body brought 
from where it was located near the Niagara River, making its way up the 190 and to ECMC. So we brought that to you. Uh, obviously, uh, you step aside, you kind of hear the nets, uh, the natural sound out there. Uh, the officers uh, turning on their sirens, and I believe I heard uh, some dogs barking in the background. I wonder if those were some of the police dogs. We can tell you that uh, Officer Laner was a uh, canine officer as well. So uh, um, police dogs, uh, members of the police force, firefighters, emergency response team, uh, members of the public all gathered there to pay their respects. Kind of something more like three dozen vehicles there. They're going to make their way now up the 190 north to the 198 east, then to the 33. And, uh, Casey, I believe you mentioned that you heard a dog barking. That was the first thing that uh, that I caught. As soon as the motorcycles went back, maybe this maybe the second car in the procession was in fact a canine. The the window was rolled down. The canine barking as the procession was going through, and I thought that was uh, really something truly special uh, to see. Uh, you could see the stoic look on officers' faces as they were driving by. You had the uh, had all the sirens going. It's about as, uh, about as good of a send off as you could have. It was a truly special moment. All right, here's a procession again. It continues uh, a further shot. You can see the officers saluting as the uh, procession continues further down of the 190. Let's uh, listen in. saluting it that I will never forget and that was just a, a beautiful moment right there watching him salute uh, as the motorcade went by there.